as far as the church is concerned and as far as the generals are concerned, we just got the support of 200 mil 250 military leaders and generals. Total support. Law enforcement, almost every law enforcement group in the United States. I have Florida, I have Texas, I have Ohio, I have every, excuse me, Portland. The sheriff just came out today and he said, I support President Trump, I don't think you have any law enforcement. You can't even say the word law enforcement, because if you say those words, you're going to lose all of your radical left supporters. And why aren't you saying those words, Joe? Why don't you say the words law enforcement? Because you know what? If they called us in Portland, we would put out that fire in a half an hour, but they won't do it because they're run by radical left Democrats. If you look at Chicago, if you look at any place you want to look, Seattle, they heard we were coming in the following day, and they put up their hands, and we got back Seattle. Minneapolis, we got it back, Joe, because we believe in law and order, but you don't. The top 10 cities and just about the top 40 cities are run by Democrats, and in many cases, radical left. And they've got you wrapped around their finger, Joe, to a point where you don't want to say anything about law and order. And I'll tell you So that was Donald Trump trying to brag about his endorsements by police unions and the Portland Sheriff. The only thing is, the position of Portland Sheriff doesn't exist. And the guy who does oversee Portland, he's the Sheriff of Multnomah County, a guy by the name of Mike Reese, tweeted out directly after the debate saying, quote, as the Multnomah County Sheriff, I have never supported Donald Trump and will never support him. So Donald Trump, taking a topic that he's actually polling kind of evenly with Joe Biden on, like how who, who Americans trust to deal with the civil unrest in cities, even a topic that he is 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 competitive with Joe Biden on, because everything else, Donald Trump is, is getting his ass kicked. He still lies. He's still unprepared. He still makes things up. Like, Joe Biden hit, hit the nail on the head. Like, you don't have a plan. You're unprepared. You're the worst president in the history of the United States. You lie. You're stupid. All of these, <laughs> all of these things are encompassed in this. So Trump supporters who, you know, want to claim he's the law and order president, everything you hear from him has to be taken with a grain of salt because he's going to lie to you. <sighs> Can't make it up. I mean, if you're Donald, you can, but as an observer, this is just astonishing. The, the depths that he's willing to go to create a reality in which Donald Trump is the answer to all our problems. When in reality, he is the, he's what a lot of problems in this country, he's the, he's the culmination of them. 